Hello, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is Tamur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. Now to 2024, we are in the middle of February right now, right? So the 50% of the first quarter, it's almost over. And it's no secret that the job market is a little bit tough right now. So many people have gotten laid off. On top of that, uh, you have a very tightening job market because of the overall uh, you know, global economy, the way it's going. You have people transitioning into cyber security. So while cyber security is very much in demand, it is not like a recession proof industry, right? So a lot of people, unfortunately, they're finding it very, very difficult to land a job right now. On, and on another thing is AI. Of course, AI is coming along and it's shaking up a lot of things. So it is basically you need to stand out. One of the most important things you can do right now to protect yourself is to not be mediocre to make sure your skills are highlighted. People know that you're an expert in your field and you can stand out uh, within your particular field within cybersecurity. Now, I'm sure you're already hardworking and like you know what you're doing and everything uh, within your skills, like supposing you're a penetration tester or cloud security, whatever field you are uh, interested in. But another way of establishing yourself as an expert and a thought leader on your field is through LinkedIn, right? So you do want to gain recognition for your knowledge, influence and contribution to the community. Like if you're in penetration testing or cloud security or incident response. And if you want to be seen as a thought leader within the industry, you know, stand out to recruiters and hiring managers, then one of the best ways of doing this is to become a top voice on LinkedIn, a top voice in cybersecurity or your particular field. And becoming a top voice is one of the best ways to stand out on LinkedIn. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what it takes to become a LinkedIn top voice. And I'm going to give you some tips and strategies, which I use to achieve this like status. And if you're new to the channel, please do like and subscribe to this channel. I share weekly tips on cloud security, AI and general cybersecurity career advice. So, so first let's talk about what is the LinkedIn top voice. So LinkedIn top voices, they are basically members of the LinkedIn community who have been recognized in experts and thought leaders in their field. And they're selected based on a variety of factors, you know, how good their posts are, what they're doing, how they're like engaging with uh, uh, LinkedIn, other LinkedIn users, their influence on the platform. And, you know, overall, like uh, their contribution to the LinkedIn uh, community. It was, I think, launched in 2016 as a way of showing like how uh, selecting people who are like really uh, contributing to the platform. And this is what it looks like. So if you are uh, if you get like a top cyber security voice, when you go to your profile, this is how it's going to look like. So the, the badge shows your skill or topic for which you are a top voice. If you are good in like AI, then it will be AI here. This, this is like cyber security, but there are hundreds of topics. So you can really look for the one you are interested. I think they have information security. They have cyber security. So honestly, one is enough if you want to uh, get it. So there are two types of top voices. First of all, you need to understand. The one you're seeing on the screen right now, that is the community top voice. Okay. And uh, the community top voice, I'll show you how to get that. And the, the other one is the uh, top voice, the blue badge, which is like uh, selected only, which is LinkedIn. They manually select people to become top voices. And that is a different, that is an, this is an invitation only program. So only LinkedIn has the power to choose who are top voices. You can see this on my profile. I have gotten this badge. And it looks very nice, like it shows off like that you uh, like you're really an expert in your particular field. OK, so why should you get this? First of all, why get the top voice on LinkedIn? Like what is uh, the big deal? I mean, uh, uh, why should we be trying and getting this? First of all, becoming a LinkedIn top voice, it comes with a lot of benefits. You know, you get more visibility and recognition. You get more opportunities to collaborate. You get a larger audience on your post and you get credibility and trust. And you get opportunities for speaking, consulting, you know, job opportunities. So it shows you what it does is, is it establishes you as an expert in your field. And you will see, I can get it. I like I, I can vouch for this. I have gotten people reaching out to me and giving me talking offers, speaking opportunities and those sort of things. Why? Because the top getting the top voice is a way LinkedIn is vouching for you. Right. They're saying this guy is an expert. He knows what he's doing. And of course, the other thing is it, it helps to make your LinkedIn profile stand out. If you're applying for a penetration, test, penetration testing job and it shows that you're a top voice on penetration testing, you can understand this will help you stand out from the other candidates who are there. So I hope this gave you an idea about uh, top voice and its benefits, right? Why should you go out and get this uh, particular tie badge 
on your LinkedIn profile. So now let's talk about how to get it, how to get the top voice on LinkedIn. So there are two ways of getting the LinkedIn top voice. So remember, there are two types of uh, top voices. One is the community one, one is the blue one. So the community badge is pretty simple. Although it takes a little bit of work, you need to collaborate to, uh, the, the, you need to contribute to these collaborative articles, which LinkedIn has. Just Google LinkedIn collaborative articles. The, these are articles which are generated by, by AI with the help of LinkedIn. And they are like questions which have been asked and you can answer these questions. So just head over to this list, choose an article. In your case, I would suggest choosing cybersecurity and then give your responses to it, right? If you have ever been on Quora, it's exactly like Quora. You know, you just have to answer, just answer to particular questions that have been asked. And if people like them, they will upvote it. Okay, you, your answer will move up. And this is how it happens. So the more you contribute, the more you'll move up and then you'll, you'll eventually get this badge on LinkedIn, the community badge, okay? And this is how it looks like. Uh, you'll probably see this, you can go over there, just go to the collaborative articles and nine times out of 10, you should be able to get this. If you're not able to see this, let me know. But almost everybody I know, they are able to access these articles if you've been on LinkedIn for a particular point in time. Okay, and this is how it looks like. You can see these are the uh, cybersecurity one, like how to protect against like, SQL injections, how to keep devices patched, what should you include in a penetration testing report? Just keep answering them. It takes a little bit of time and I'll show you some techniques for how to get this done. And eventually what will happen is you, I think you get it when you're in the top 5%, you'll see this. Okay. You'll get this badge, which is that congratulations. You're a community top wise for cybersecurity. This badge is active for 60 days and you have to keep contributing, right? And if you keep contributing to these articles, you should be able to keep it, but LinkedIn keeps checking. So you can't do it once and just relax. Okay. And it shows the skill also. So in your case, it would be cybersecurity. But they, like I said, there are hundreds of uh, topics which are listed. So that's it. There's nothing secret about it. The other one is the blue badge, which I have this, which is the top voices. This is more difficult to get because this is manual. So it's not like you just go and contribute to articles and you'll get it. No. So this one, like I said, this is chosen manually by the LinkedIn editorial team. And what happens is you have to write LinkedIn posts and they have to resonate with the LinkedIn audience. So with me, my LinkedIn posts were doing okay. I mean, I'm not like a very, very popular person on LinkedIn, but I got like a thousand posts and impressions and slowly, slowly it started getting uh, like traction. I think I have around 9,000 followers, which is okay, not like massive, but this is how it happens. And you'll get the LinkedIn uh, top voice if you keep sharing LinkedIn posts. Now, what are the mistakes to avoid? So I've seen a lot of people who have made a few mistakes when it comes to contributing on LinkedIn and trying to get the top badge. The first one, which I cannot state enough, please do not copy paste from chat GPT. LinkedIn algorithm is not stupid. It figures out that you've just copy pasted from chat GPT and your posts and your answers will get deprioritized. You won't get that engagement. Okay. So please use AI to get some like good ideas, but don't copy paste your answers from chat GPT. You will get detected. Okay. The other one is, and I can't believe I have to say this, please don't steal other people's posts. LinkedIn is a well-known platform. You will get very easily. People will find out that you are just stealing other people's posts and it really will look negatively on you. It will look that you are not an ethical person, right? And the last one is do not be impatient. You need to be consistent about it. So make sure you regularly post good content, good answers, engage with others, and you will see it happen. Okay. You need to be consistent about it. And I'll show you a lot of people. This is what happens. They get just impatient. They're saying, how come I'm not a LinkedIn top voice and they just stop doing it. Right. And they were so close to getting it. So I would recommend making a content calendar like every day, just write it down that I'm going to show like write one LinkedIn post and I'm going to respond to three articles. And believe me, one of those things will resonate and you will get either one of the badges. You will either get the community post or you will get the top badge. So this is what I wanted to just show it to you. There's no secret here. It's not like rocket science, but LinkedIn is a very powerful tool. Unfortunately, people in cybersecurity what they do is they just do it for sharing the certifications or the trainings or that I've been promoted. I've gotten this like certification. I've completed this training and that's all they do. They don't see how powerful LinkedIn is for getting those other, uh, what do you call uh, badges on your profile and how much it can resonate. So this is what I wanted to talk about right now. If you still have confusion, if you still want to know, then do check out my course. I'll put it in the comment section on this. I do show you how to build your brand on LinkedIn and Twitter. And believe me when I say it's very, very important nowadays, especially with the layoffs happening, your personal brand will stay with you no matter where you go. So I hope you like this video. Please do like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.